Hello and welcome to our live today. I'm so excited to have some interesting conversation today. This is the party takeover of our, whoa, it's doing funny things on me. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> this is our party takeover of the Game Changers Facebook community. And I'm very excited to come here to share both um, Astrid Mueller, my co-conspirator, on this party takeover of taking over to create some income impact and excitement with our DAX. And uh, we are welcoming today uh, Nick Kellett, who is the founder of Deckable and creator of all kinds of fabulous possibilities inside of the deck world. And we're very excited to talk with Nick about some of the new things that are coming out and the progression of the Deckable app, where it's at, and what it can truly do for your business, your deck, and the world in beyond. So welcome, Nick. So glad to have you here today and to welcome you here on our live and um if you are showing up live please go ahead and uh type in a hello when you are here live and you are able to ask questions here live as well uh, astrid will be moderating that for us and so mm -hmm. you can absolutely yep, <laughs> beautiful so nick tell us a little bit about you and like how did how did you get here to making an app for deck called Deckable? <laughs> well, I think the long and short story is I invent things for a living. I've always uh, I've always created things since I was like a teenager. Uh, I think I played I played a lot of board games as a teenager and just got bored, and um, ended up creating my own games. And that was a, a super fun experience. But it got carried away. I got carried away. And um, I ended up trying to sell these board games to, to board game companies. I even created computer games um, and tried to, I tried to sell Connect Four to Milton Bradley back in 1984. And, uh, and they said they didn't think there was a market for computer games, which is really hilarious, actually. But, um, <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I had a career in technology, but I've also published a board game. I published a, a game called Gift Trap in uh, around 2007. And that game sold 100,000 units, won 20 plus awards worldwide, including a Spilled as Yara Prize, which if anyone's a gamer will know, that's like the Oscar of gaming. Um, and so here I am in, in 2022, kind of four years into a project called Deckable. Uh, and it was a long and winding road, but basically I, I was creating this, a, a fun, engaging way to learn and, and interact with content online. Card decks became part of that along my journey. I got obsessed with card decks. I now own a scarily large amount of card decks. And, uh, <laughs> and along the way, I, I hired a user experience team to come and tidy up what I was doing. And they said, um, why don't you just, and this was really brave of them. They said, why don't you just throw it away and just do card decks? Oh, and by the way, it would look like this. Um, and I was like, apart from wanting to be actually physically sick in that moment, because it was like three years work, bye bye. But they showed me the beautiful way forward and I couldn't go back. I had to down tools, start again. And, and basically at that point we decided to build what became Deckable, which is a mobile first experience. So it's an Android and iOS app. It's basically audible for card decks, right? So it's every card deck you ever love or loved or will love in the future on your phone in one app, just like Audible's every book you love, and you can listen to it on your phone, you can interact with card decks on your phone, right? So crazy challenging mission. My personal goal was that when you actually use this app, you feel like you've got a deck in your hands. And a lot of people said to me along the way, oh, I won't be the same, I like the card. I, hey, I love, I'm a cardboard, through and through person, like my board game, I play, I play, I do not play board games online. I play physical cardboard games, right? So I love that, but I can honestly tell you, we achieved that objective with Deckable. Like when you play with Deckable on your phone, it feels like you have a card deck. It's as messy and tactile and real. And that's a big deal. And nothing, nothing that we use on our phone feels like that today. But this is Facebook. Yes. 
And this is very exactly. <laughs> and this is what's incredibly yeah. exciting about, I, I think, this idea of of it because everyone who's here who's watching this now loves decks as much as you do right they, i think everyone's like yeah they're looking at their shelf saying yeah i got all those decks up there and yet right. they're like should i feel guilty for buying the next one <laughs> right yeah and you know what you know what the average deck person's classical problem is which deck do i take with me today yeah, because absolutely. The average deck person. I was on. I was on a podcast the other day with a with a guy that basically just does t uh, tarot readings, and and he basically described his problem. He said, "I carry. He has so many decks, but he has a deck backpack, and he has to decide carefully which decks go in the backpack for a particular trip, right? And what that's is expensive. It's 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 not good for your back, right? It, because they, they get heavy, they add up, and you always got to make these choices. Why can't you have all your decks with you all the time, right? Because you never leave home without this, this device, right. right? And you can have 100 decks in your pocket with this, right? And right. you couldn't, really couldn't carry 100 decks with you, nor would you want to, right? I mean, you'd be like, like Santa Claus coming in with, with 100 decks. <laughs> and like, we've done, I've surveyed a lot of people, and there are, there's a, there's a huge percentage of the world that don't even know what a deck is, right? And that's just wonderful because put them to the side for the minute. The people who love and use decks, they own somewhere between 10, 20, 30, 40 decks. It's, it's, it's an act of passion. And every day they draw a card from the deck. It's the way they start their day. They, they set an intention. They meditate. They do a reading, whatever. Everyone does different things. There's so many decks. Like we've all heard that expression from Apple. There's an app for that, right? Well, guess what? There is a deck for that, right? <laughs> nice. And, uh, I mean, it's really good. There's, a deck, there's decks to do with birth, death, depression, sadness, nice. relationships, you, like wine drinking. Really good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. There's a deck for that, right? And it makes sense. Everyone, everyone's deckable is going to be different. We're all obsessed with personalization and customization. Well, you know, I own 600 plus books on Audible, right? I thought I was extreme. I have a friend who has 3,000 Kindles. I was like, okay, maybe I'm just slightly above average, but not that extreme. But deck owners are the same. They literally own hundreds of card decks and, right. and they love them. And rightly so. And, and I kind of think um, we're on a mission to democratize decks, to put decks in the hands of more people because decks are expensive, right? They, they're getting expensive because of the whole economy shift and printing is expensive. And the worst part of all, shipping has become brutally expensive, right? Just to send, unless you're Amazon, and Amazon's taught us to expect everything to be free, but it's just not, right? It's expensive to get stuff from A to B. And you can download the phone for probably less than the cost of shipping these days for most things, right? Well, yeah. So let's let's talk a bit about then the deck maker, right? The person who right. is here yeah. saying, I own a business and maybe right. you already have a deck or you don't have a deck yet, but you're looking at big production costs and you're looking right. at, um, you know, how do I get this out there in a larger way? And maybe even both have printed decks as well as you know this idea of yeah. testing it out digitally or anything else like that right, right. There's, a, there's a lot of people that have decks already right and so if and they will know um managing stock is a expensive and, and b challenging because you end up like i know as a board game maker i'd end up with ten thousand of a game in the wrong location and then i have to move them somewhere else right it's expensive right. most people are playing with much smaller volumes than that just keeping Amazon stocked in all the different countries, costs, 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 everywhere you go, costs, right? Delays. Right. And you don't know. Whereas, what are you good at? If you're a card deck creator, what are you good at? You are good at creating, you're ideating, you're a strategist. Right. You're, 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 yeah, your transformation, you're whatever it is, your process, absolutely. Right. You are not good at manufacturing, managing, shipping. You are not good at, probably good at marketing your deck, right? Mm -hmm take that headache away from you. I mean, you still need to do some, but you know, Audible works because you go to Audible and you buy a book, right? You know, it's, you know, it is a, it's, it's what I call a go-to, it's a destination marketplace, right? You don't think about it. You just go to Audible and buy a book, right? I do. And, I, and millions of other people do too, right? 
And basically that's what we're creating with Deckable is a destination marketplace. I need a deck today. I need my deck fix. I need a new deck. Where am I going to go? I'm going to go to Deckable and I can download the deck. I fall in love with the deck and then I can buy the printed deck, right? Because I've, I've bought some decks and I've gone, oh, I wish I hadn't, right? Because I bought them, you know, through the internet, through Kickstarter. And some of them are great and some aren't, right? Well, if I download it, I can go, okay, this is really cool. I need, I need the physical copy because I want, I wouldn't, I'm not trading out of that. Absolutely. Right. You know, I love leaving my decks around. I leave my games out. They're like art, right? They're right. Beautiful. They, All right, Astra, they adore, you, yeah, adore you have some home. comments coming through, I suspect. Yeah, yeah. People, so we just, uh, we have a bunch of people watching, um, Ellen, Maria, and Lorelai, and um, uh, I asked the question, like, how many decks do you have? And uh, Maria's like, only six, but she's sad about it. She's interested in getting <laughs> more. <laughs> and uh, Louis just joined us also, and she called us the three deck musketeers. <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful no, no, people, literally if you own if you're big into decks you're like you know you're big into decks when you conceal the purchase of a new deck from your partner right <laughs> when, you when you conceal the purchase of a new deck from your partner like, yeah you know, my husband's like package from amazon what's in here you're like no that's mine <laughs> Uh, my, my name is Nick Keller. I'm a decaholic. It's six days and six months since I. You know? and, but, but it's rewarding. It's cathartic, right? It's it's meditative. It's calming. It's it, it's wholesome, right? right. So we're so, actually cre creating nurturing healthy habits. So it's not a bad thing. Yeah. Well, indeed, exactly. Can can you give us a little sneak peek then inside yeah. of Deckable? Mm -hmm. So Deckable is not yet launched as an app, correct? And yeah. it's it's basically on Android and iOS. It, it works on a tablet on a on, um, on your phone. It's, I think it's also going to work on your desktop too. Um, so. Uh, but I think I'll show you the tablet. Before, okay. before you share, I want to say real quick, like for people watching, this is not just about loving decks and playing with decks, but we're actually giving you an inside sneak peek here um, because that's why we call the, the party superheroes forward. Like all you deck makers, um, this is an exciting time um, that we can all join with our decks on this platform and be part of right. this beta time. And uh, Nick is building this platform in a way where you will be able to make money with this app and um, also uh, Gina and I we are super excited about the possibility how this can help you scale up your business as a strategy piece of like a bigger vision actually make it go because um, I know a lot of um, a lot of us have decks and you might have not even published it yet it might be sitting somewhere you're not motivated to get it done um, Gina is like a brilliant strategy mind and it can actually become the core of your business and we're excited about the possibility of this really cool app that we love and we're we can't we're excited to see it grow and come together um, as we have been talking with Nick um, and how that can be become part of your bigger strategy actually like blow up your business plan so yeah let's let's see some cool visuals yeah absolutely I mean just so just for just to bear in mind at this point we look, we're, we, we're, we're not, we're not launched yet. So, so to be clear, because people keep asking that, even though I say it and then people don't hear it and say, oh, it's not in the app stores because it's not launched yet. <laughs> the only people who have access to the app, very, very simple. I'm being mean and cruel. I'm sorry. I don't apologize for it. Is you have to have a deck. If you have mm -hmm. a deck and you load it onto Deckable, then you get, the ma that's the magical pass to get access to the beta product right is load your deck onto deckable.com if you don't have a deck you can just sign up to deckable right now and then you'll get in you can involved in the in the whole process right sure so you get updates is, and and know yeah. when it actually launches yes exactly right but if you are a deck creator this is a serious thing but this is a marketing tool that makes you money right marketing tools don't make you money they cost you money right here is a tool that you sell decks, you make money from selling the decks, but the act of selling the deck actually sells your physical deck and sells other decks to other people, right? So it's a, it's a marketing tool that's gonna help you make money. And we have probably, uh, well, not probably, we absolutely, we have over uh, 160 creators with decks already loaded. Uh, we have another 
We have over 350 people who are in the creation process who signed up in different stages of loading decks, right? We, we're getting new people signing up every day. We, well, we totally expect to blow past 250 creators at launch, and we may well hit 500. And that's one hell of a lot of amazing decks. I'm gonna just jump in and stop talking about it and show you some decks. How about that? Beautiful, awesome, thank you. All right, um, so just a minute, I need to share my screen. Ooh, yeah, there we go, perfect. All right, so I'm on Deckable on my tablet right now. And this is the timeline screen. This is the home page of Deckable. And at the top of the screen, you see they've got the one, two, and three cards there. And I can click on those and get a random card from a random deck in one click, right? And that's the classical card deck hit. Every day, people want to get one, give me one random card. That's the least interaction you could have with a card deck on any given day. But what's cool is as you scroll down, you can see on each day, these are different interactions that I've had with different card decks, right? And any of these, I can click on them. This is an amazing hexagonal deck. I can just jump through the cards and flip through the sides of that deck. And here it is, and it's a tactile experience, right? I'm actually playing with that deck on my phone, right? And that was, uh, is another different card. This is a tarot reading, so I can click on each card in the reading if I want to. Um, this is the more information on this card in particular, and I can scroll down and read more if I want. Um, but this is the timeline, right? So this is all the different events that I've, this is a different deck. I can just choose the difference. I can flip over the different Nick, I want. Can I say something real quick? Yeah, I just yeah. The amazing opportunity um, for people who, all the coaches who are watching who have a deck, like to actually use this in their programs live. Because right. what Nick is doing right now is he's hooking this up uh, from his phone. He's basically hooking this up into Zoom. So he's doing a live screen share. You don't have to have your deck fully printed. You can have it digital like this, and you can do live readings for people that are interactive like this. Yeah. Um, I'm just highlighting this potential also for retreats where you can go places and okay. you don't have to haul all your decks. It's, it's, it's so cool. I'm so excited about and, it. And so, there's, so this is the timeline screen, right? It's really pretty cool. And it, it, it's as, you're never going to lose a reading again, right? Never lose a reading again. And mm -hmm. if I want to see this reading, and I want to journal on it. I can, I can start typing. Also included, yes. Okay, type my <laughs> thoughts. And then, but I'm, I'm really lazy, right? So I prefer to talk to my journal, right? Audio included, yes. Right. Is that easy? Audio included, there you go. You see, you spoke to my journal. <laughs> there we go, right? It's, it's that easy. So there's a lot of people who say, you know, excuses in the journaling camp are, I haven't got any paper. Yes. Mm, but they, Nick, I'm interrupting you. you. I haven't got a pen. You I'm interrupting you. I can't type. People are super excited. I just want to share that real quick. They're super okay, excited. Cool. The <laughs> they love the journal part and it's right. amazing. Wow. Okay. Go and ahead. Then here I am, right? I can um I can share my cards to to I can share these cards to a friend. I've just done that, right? And that friend will receive that. But if I go to the journal, I can now share the journal. So I can then share the journal entry with the cards to a friend. So I can share just my reading to some people and then my intimate, heartfelt, gushing, bleeding emotions to, to other closer friends, right? I control that. So it's that simple, right? And then, oh, what did I journal? I had forgotten. There it is, right? I, I don't, I can't lose a reading again, right? It's there. So let's, um, have a look at some some decks, right? And we can scroll. And there are I've lost count actually, but I think there's there's over two hundred decks on here already. There's more like two fifty, I think, at this point. But I'm just going to pop up the info on this deck. This is the shift deck, and I can flip. To this and it's showing me some different cards from the deck, right? There's the box. Uh, there's the description of the deck. I've already bought the deck. So at the bottom of the screen says draw cards, right? But if I didn't, if I hadn't bought the deck, it would say buy this deck now, right? And I would click on it and my, and my Android or iPhone would, would be charged for the purchase of that deck. But the buy physical deck button here at the bottom, this is why it's a marketing tool that helps you sell more decks. We're gonna send you off to your, your URL on your website to buy your physical deck, right? So. <laughs> 
But if I want to draw cards from this deck, right, I just click on draw. And now I'm focused on the shift deck and I can pick a random card from the shift deck or two random cards from the shift deck or three random cards from the shift deck. It's that easy. Or I can just do this where I basically do a free form, pick as many cards as I want and, and control every inch of that process in my own. And that's it, right? That's that simple. If we look at a tarot deck, you'll see, we'll look at a tarot deck in a minute. In a tarot deck, we drop into custom spreads. And, but I'm just going to draw one random card from this deck. There it is. It did it for me. Voila. There's my random card from the deck, right? And I can journal on that, right? And but I come back to my timeline, and that's going to be it. That's in my timeline. So it's nice. There it is in my timeline, right? So um, let's have a look at this tarot deck. Okay. Right? Nick, pause real quick, because I yeah. want to show all the possibilities with people. And we have some questions popping up. Yeah, so, sure. um, he, um, somebody, um, uh, Lori was saying like, oh, yes, you can share the journal entry with the coach. That's really cool, because then oh, like, like, you can embed it into your how you run your business. The, um, the end to the end process is the coach could share the question with you. It, and you yes. The answer back with the coach. It just yes. the dialogue continues. Right? That's amazing. And then also Maria says, I love and need journaling. I couldn't do that while the reading takes place. And now that. So she's really excited. Um, and Lori is asking. So will it work with three decks in one spread like mine? And maybe that's a thing for, three, for you three. to... Oh, yeah, that sounds like a what's what we call a curated deck, right? So you, would, you can build a curated deck and then you can make a spread from cards from different decks. Does that answer a question? I'll check in with her. Yes. So Lori's deck game is just like mine, where it has okay. three separate decks inside of one thing. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, like suits. Right. Yeah. So wait, I can show you that. Uh, but I, let me just, yeah. So basically you can create your own custom spreads. Okay. I could, I could probably demonstrate that uh, later for you if, if we have time. And literally when you're, when you're the creator, you create your deck and then you say, give me a three card spread for my deck and you give it a name and we put three cards on the screen and you arrange them and you can put the name on those and you can type in the question and description that goes with each card. And you can also tag which suit that card comes from. Right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We haven't, awesome. We haven't, yep. we haven't, we haven't just to be completely transparent, we haven't implemented all of that right the way through to the end. But what you've just highlighted, I have at least half a dozen people that are, that are asking for that. So this is the awesome thing about Deckable, right? Is uh, to use a Canadian expression, we are heading where the puck is going. We are not saying we are there. We are not saying we are right. My, my suggestion to you is jump on the bus, get a seat on the bus, and the seat gives you a vote to drive the bus where it needs to go, right? Right. So that, Lori and I will yeah. come in with our two decks. And add us to your camp for the suits because we both yeah, have games I'm, just like that. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Right. I so, Mine is also like that, actually. Yes. Yep. But so here I'm just flicking. This is the deck page, and I'm going to draw from this deck. I happen to know this is a tarot deck. So it's, it's actually, or an Oracle deck, it's actually got more spreads to do it, right? So I could just pick a one, two, or three random card. I could pick a, a, a free form spread, but if I scroll down, I've got a one card, a two card, uh, a yes, uh, a mind, body, spirit spread, uh, a past, present, future spread, right? If I pick the past, present, future, I don't know what's happening there. Do not do this on it. Okay. I'm going to try that. This might not be working on. I'm going to switch device. Uh, I'll try that one. Well, time. while you're doing that, I want to share another thing that popped up in my head too. Um, and this is coming from the um, business side and how awesome this can also be uh, the branding viewpoint um because this is so brand new uh right now when you're in the very saturated coaching marketplace right um there are a lot of people out there who do uh online readings and like who wants a card and so what they do is like they post a picture and then it, it's kind of this static sort of deal but imagine if you're part of this brigade right now of superheroes and um you are part of this 
this while it's brand new. So you are an early adopter and you can show up uh, in Facebook and do things like that that are interactive and super cool <laughs> um, and stand out. So I, I, just, I just switched over to my phone because I've got a very latest version of software here. So I've switched over because I know I'm pretty sure this works on the phone. There was a tablet issue, not to worry. So here's, here's my spread, right? And you could literally have designed this spread. So here's all the cards in there. If I want to, I could shuffle the cards first, right? And I can shuffle face up or face down. This is actually right. a interesting deck. <laughs> That's but... amazing. You just say that like, oh, nonchalantly, yeah, you can do all these things. Like no right? other app does this there you right go. I, So I just did a custom <laughs> spread. That's how hard it was. It was that, we could have made it harder, but it was that easy, right? But, and now yes. I just, I click on each card in turn. And I want to, I want to read more about the piece card. I can click on the piece card. There it is, right? If I click on this card in turn, and if 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 the creator had, had description, they'd be there. If there was a video or audio for that card, it would be there. Did I mention we can have audio and video for every card? And that's right? a yeah, I mean, okay. that's a big deal. Yes. Yes. Right. That is so big. So everybody who didn't catch this, um, there will be a video feature and an audio feature that you can also attach to the cards. And we got that in another uh, meeting with Nick. We got a preview of that. You can, so what that means, you can literally um, transform your coaching practice with this, where you can use it as a lead magnet. For example, you can have a small video behind each card and that can be a, a mini lead magnet that will lead into your business and get people a taster of what you do. Um, you can do it with audio. You can have meditations attached to the cards. We are so um, excited. And I have other people saying mind blown. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just, just to reiterate that point, I just picked up a deck here from Elena Brower. Um, you may not know Elena Brower, depends what space you're in. She's very big in the yoga mindfulness space. Um, she has 300,000 followers on Instagram. She's published with Sounds True, right? Which is not too, not too shabby. Um, and she has her deck here uh, on Deckable. And what she did with Deckable was she recognized what was possible and she created a short audio track to go with every card in the deck, right? So I'm just to do a two card random reading from this deck. Here are the two cards, right? So I'm gonna flip it over and see I got vision and I got humility, right? So which one, which, which one should we listen to? Vision. 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 <laughs> okay. There we go. Vision. Today, hold your vision. The one that shows you the future in full color, full detail. Tuck it in closely. Move through your day with this vision already real in your body. Vision. Is that not freaking amazing? Like, it's amazing. Wow. It doesn't give you goosebumps. Like, and that, I set off to digitize decks and convert the existing decks onto deckable. Well, I can honestly tell you, I've been absolutely blown away by the new decks that have been created just for deckable, right? <laughs> or, in the example, like this is this daily ceremony deck, you can go and buy it from Elena Brower's website today, right? But you can't buy it with audio because it doesn't exist. This has been created exclusively for Deckable. And that is breathtaking, pre-launch to have. We have, a, we have a deck from Elena Brower. We have a deck from uh, Aubrey Marcus. Aubrey Marcus created a, a, a documentary called Awake in the Darkness. You ever been on a darkness retreat? Right? Um, a darkness retreat is where you just really go into a darkened room. There is literally not a, a peep of light. It's totally taped out, right? And for five to seven days, you go into a darkened room. You can go to aubreymarcus.com and watch the documentary. It's free if you plug in your email, right? Amazing documentary, well worth doing. It's kind of scary. I don't think I'd like to do it, but I think I will at some point try it out, right? Anyway, throughout the doc, because what happens, oh, didn't mean to do that. Just turn my phone around. Um, what happens um, in the darkness is you hallucinate, right? It's, just, it's a bit like taking LSD or mushrooms, like you begin to see things. Well, in the documentary are 103 amazing illustrations from an amazing artist. And we've pulled together quotes from Aubrey Marcus on mindfulness and various other thought leaders in mindfulness and all the artwork. 
we have the full support of the Obra Marcus's team. And this, so this deck is basically a representation of that documentary. As oh my deck. gosh. It is just like sensational, beautiful, okay. beautiful. I don't think I have it downloaded right now, but I always like to okay. show you. Uh, Nick, pause, so, as, you're, um, as you're getting yeah. it, um, I want to highlight the strategic part here that Nick just said. So for all of you who want to make a bigger impact on the planet with your work, and I know there's so much pull in our hearts. So many of us really feel that pull. Um, this Did you just hear that example? Like you can have any sort of uh, workshop, retreat, uh, documentary even and create a deckable deck that reflects a teaser a taster an added experience um, and you can lead with that and you can bring that to the world to be a lead magnet or that's one of the strategies and or sell you have it. All, yeah or, or even sell, sell it, it. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah i mean one it's of the things I'm gonna, I'm gonna i'm gonna say a really ironic word in a second it's called workbook right because what you know what's ironic about workbooks? They don't work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, has anyone ever typed anything into a workbook on that? You can't do it on your phone, right? And every single course on the, this planet says, download our workbook. It's like, yeah, and never use it. Thanks. You turn that workbook into an experience on Deckable, you can journal on it directly live interactively with the cards on the phone right like we have um there's a very famous author called Nirayal uh, who writes in the tech space he has a book called hooked and he has a book called indistractable and he, he's a very clever guy because he wrote both ends of the spectrum how to get addicted and how to get unaddicted right and he actually has a workbook for each of those we are coming out with the deckable interactive workbook. So it allows that's exciting. Work. That's exciting. Right? Yep. I have a question from somebody. So um, Lori says she has a playbook, um, okay. but uh, you don't write in it. It's a reference. And can it right. be accessible to you? Yeah, totally. Playbooks. I mean, playbooks are, you know, our workbooks by another name, right? Yes. Yes. People, people, your modern day student does not want to be lectured to. They want to do something. They want to participate. They want to engage. They want and expect to write and share and journal and comment and participate and talk. And that's what Deckable facilitates, right? Is you get the playbook as a deck and then you can every day pick a card and journal and reflect on the card and share it with friends. It's People say, people ask me, okay, so what do I have to do to make the journaling feature work on Deckable? And I can say it six times, but people still ask me, nothing. You don't have to do anything, right? Like you just make the deck and you can journal. It's that simple, right? And it, it's, I, I'm stunned how people ask me those questions, but they do. And it's kind of funny. I actually adore it. It's very cute. But, um, the same things was with Guten, Gutenberg has a lot to answer for. He makes us think that we shouldn't print anything because it has to be perfect because oh, heaven forbid we have a typo and we can't change it and we printed thousands of copies. Nope, you can have typos and then update your deck and there's nobody will die. Trees didn't die in the forest. You can update your deck, you're all safe, good to go, right? So I have a follow-up question to that. So with a, this particular example, what I, what I heard you say is, um, yes, the journaling feature is already in there. But, right. but if somebody has a deck and they have a separate journal that might have a, a, a playbook that has um, specific right. prompts of like, do this, do this, would they, how would they do that? Would they create a playbook um, deck? Yeah, exactly. They just turn that, they have an existing product that's a physical product or a PDF, whatever it is. And you just turn that into a deck, love boat is deckable, put a price tag on it, and mm -hmm. off you go. It's that simple, right? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay. okay, so we did promise our tribe about a half hour. So we're, we're, we're running over already. And I know we've opened a ton of possibilities. And there's a couple of things to do right now <laughs> for our team. And I know that all kinds of people's minds are being blown at this moment. Absolutely oh, true. Sure. And so for, um, for Deckable, what I right. heard you say is number one, go to Deckable, get yourself an account. Right. Correct. Okay. Deckable.com, go sign up. 
And then you'll get right. updates. If you have right. a deck already, go upload your deck. <laughs> right. right. Really, um, we have a magical 30 minute video done by one of our creators. We actually hired him. He's so amazing, uh, uh, Isaac. Um, he has a he has a masculinity archetype deck, and we we originally we hired him to make a video for it because he was so cool. But we've actually hired him since to do more things. Right. Um, he's made a 30 minute video that steps you through every little step in the process. Like I can upload a deck in seven minutes. I'm a bit of a nerd, right? But you know, it's really super simple. It's probably gonna take you an hour, maybe an hour or two if you've never done it before, right? But mindset is everything. Just decide it's gonna be simple and fun and it will be. <laughs> if you decide it's gonna be challenging, you're probably gonna find it's gonna be challenging, right? Um, but it's really very simple. And then, so you can upload your deck. The other thing I would, I would love everyone to do is go to deckable.com slash survey. We're taking, we have a really important survey. We'd love you to take and share with your friends, your clients, your community. And it's basically four surveys, one for card deck creators, one for tarot card readers, one for coaches who use card decks in the workplace, and one for collectors, fans, people who just use card decks every day, right? And then we're gathering all that data to help people realize just how big the card deck industry is and, and trying to understand what the issues are, what the challenges are, when we'll be able to gather that data and publish that. And, and then we'll get a whole bunch of media coverage, I think, from the survey and the results of that. It's going to be interesting. So, so that is yeah. deckable.com forward slash survey. So, survey, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Very cool. Beautiful. Very cool. So, and then on the other side of this, of course, we have people who are in different phases of their business. We have people Perfect. who are um, just have an idea. We have people who have established businesses and we have influencers who have an existing deck and want to get their right. mission bigger into the world. And yep. um, Astrid, you had some things to share with those people. Yes, yes. Um, and um, so what Dean and I are doing, we are helping all of you who are ready to make a bigger impact to get the strategic piece in place and actually launch in a bigger way. So um, you might need a, um, a tweak to your strategy uh, to, to make sure that it's aligned and so that you use your deck um, to the highest benefit for you in a way that lights you up and really works with your business. And then you also need um, this marketing piece that lights you up and that works for where you're at in your business. So what we're uh, doing right now specifically is um, we, we um, have two spots, two to three spots maximum <laughs> for um, all of you who for people who are um, already having a deck, you already have teachings that you do workshops, you have a following, and you're ready to scale to the bigger, uh, bigger in a bigger way, in a bigger impact, and you want to upscale your whole brand. Um, we uh, help you align the strategy and uh, do whatever you need to have, like in addition to that, like brand tweak, uh, you might have uh, design tweaks that you might need, uh, you might need accountability. And most of all, you might need that the strategy like Kickstarter, whatever it is that works for you so that it all goes together. And so that you can, um, how you can use Deckable to fit into this whole strategy so we can help you uh, find that and, go big that that's what we're doing so we're we're excited about deckable and also the potential to really help you grow your business with the help of this cool app that's currently in beta and that being said it's um it's a super special opportunity right now because it's still in beta um we will never do it with these perks anymore. You, you're gonna have access to special spotlight perks, being uh, one of the special creators in Deckable that gets featured in newsletters and like a special spotlight on the platform. There's several things that Nick um, can do for you at this moment. And because we are doing this the first time uh, with Deckable as part of the strategy, we're also giving um, a special package uh, price for this whole upscale deal. So um, if you're interested in that, it's a um, very limited uh, opportunity only now <laughs> uh, where you get all these perks and a special deal. And then later it will be like a pretty big price <laughs> ticket we, we have in the works there. Um, yeah, let us know if that intrigues you. And then we can have a separate conversation to, to see how that will work for exactly where you're at in your business and where you wanna go. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Thank, thank you for that, Astrid. And of course, all the links that all the things you said will be right in the chat below. You can find all of those things. If you have questions, you can direct message us or put it right here in the link below in the chat and we will respond. Nick, if, if they have questions for you, um, how would you like them to address us? You can ask us. We'll, we'll go find yeah. it for you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm accessible. I'm out on the socials. All the places okay. and the links, the Facebooks and the Instagrams, <laughs> and the Twitters, you know, all the good yeah, places. Yes, so follow everywhere. <laughs> right. Beautiful. Well, thank you so okay. much for giving a little sneak peek to get today, Nick. And is there anything, um, uh, any insider tidbits that they need to know about um, launch dates or anything else like that? Or, or we're we're waiting. We're we're like still tweaking that. It's a little a moving. Okay. It's somewhat out of our control because we have to get Apple and Google approval, so I can't pin it pin it down precisely. But basically, the sooner you get in, the sooner you get our deck on board, the sooner you can participate, learn. I guarantee you that once you've loaded your deck, you will tweak your deck. You will update and enhance it for the experience. You'll understand why you're doing it. So you know you can't do this on the sidelines. Right. And maybe you're maybe you're maybe you're not an early adopter, and that's okay. Maybe you come along in in a year's time, right? But um jump in like it really is harmless and nothing's going to happen to you bad right and 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 learning you know there is an experience you gain from this you'll see there is there is a massive thing called first mover advantage in technology and anyone that's been early on any of the social networks grew faster and further and did better right and yeah that's that's a hard thing to explain, but it's just a hard fact that if well and we're at a rare point in this and I think we have an I, opportunity so if that's you <laughs> definitely reach out to us. Right. And, and just also, if you have friends who have a deck or should have a deck, send them along, right? Don't yeah. let them regret not doing it at this stage, right? So. Yes. And awesome. if, um, you can invite them to Jean's group too, because we'll have another party call. We, we did a party takeover. There will be more um, lives that we'll do every Wednesday at 4 Eastern. Um, next Wednesday also, Jean and I will be live here with more insight on how you can upscale your business with your deck. So stay tuned and uh, keep playing with the play prompts that you see. Keep sharing photos of your deck. Everything um, helps you win things we always do prizes and stuff ellen says very exciting thank you so much and, and people are super excited and thank you nick thank all, you. Right. Awesome. all right <laughs> bye everyone all right the end yeah the end awesome that was cool huh